Hey guys, how's it going? So interesting predicament we're finding ourselves in with our tulips already sprouting and it's just the end of December. I uh, posted a picture of my tulip sprouts both on Facebook and Instagram this morning and I think a lot of you guys are in the same position so I thought it might be helpful to make a quick video, talk about it, and then show you a couple things you can do. So all of these bulbs we plant in the fall for spring blooms, they're incredibly tough. So your tulips, daffodils, alliums, crocus, hyacinths, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, they actually need a certain amount of cold in order to perform the best in the spring but it usually happens gradually so in the fall usually you have a gradual decrease in temperature and then it stays cold for a certain amount of weeks and then it gradually warms up in the spring like that's what we hope for but sometimes we have an erratic winter where we're getting temps in the 50s or sometimes I just heard Michigan was in the 60s in December which is crazy and then our plants don't know what to do and they start to grow because they think it's spring um, so what we're seeing here on the tulips so let me turn the camera around and we'll kind of get close up on one so what you're seeing right here are the first set of leaves coming out that's not the flower bud that's actually inside this leaf casing it's protected still um, so there's really not a whole lot to worry about unless it stays too warm and it keeps growing and you start to see a flower bud not to say that these leaves can't sustain any damage because they can once they're up and exposed like this if you have a lot of dry wind without snow cover or rain or if you have a sudden drop in temperatures it can dam damage the tips of these leaves but that bud is still protected at this stage anyway um, if they grow anymore and a bud starts to be exposed I definitely need to take action but I'm actually going to take action now just in case because I have put way too much work into these bulbs to not see a really beautiful show so let me um, show you a couple things you can do here are two easy things you can do to cover up and protect the tips of your bulbs um, so I'm actually going to be doing bark mulch in this area it's just a shredded finely shredded wood mulch here um, you can also repurpose your Christmas tree so this was my natural Christmas tree up in the sun porch and I'll show you how you can cut branches off we'll start at the bottom and you can just layer boughs on top of things and the boughs are good for like evergreen perennials too you can put them on hookahs hellebores things like that just for a little added protection and usually they're so large that it's easy just to pick them up in the spring once it warms up um so i'm gonna grab my gloves and some loppers and we'll start in on this thing So you just take your pine boughs and lay them over the top of where anything might be sprouting up. So that's what it looks like. I didn't do a huge section, but that's what it looks like when you use boughs from your Christmas tree. So for those of you who um, decorate a real Christmas tree, this is a really good way to get extra life out of it. Um, I typically either decorate mine for the birds. I put a bunch of bird food on them um, and anchor them outside in my lawn somewhere, or you can cut them up for this purpose. I'm not gonna be doing this entire area in boughs though. I actually have some hookahs behind the chicken coop I wanna protect. I'm gonna do mulch in this space because I knew I needed to do mulch anyway because I've got a bunch of exposed drip tubing. So may as well get that done early. And I'm not worried about mulching up a ton. Like I may not even cover some of the sprouts all the way, but pretty close. I think it'll just provide a little bit of extra warmth and protection. So anyway, I'm gonna do that quick and then I'll show you the area. Here's a quick look before I mulch because I am going to cut back the flocks as well and the Russian sage. And I think the whole area will look really nice when we're done. So here's your before shot, including my shadow. And here's the after shot. It's all looking really nice and tidy. Mulch always does that. I had 13 bags, so I just went as far as I could get with the 13 bags. So I made it to like right here on the edge and I swooped it back quite far, almost to the edge back in there. I made sure to do a little bit thicker around where the bulbs are, a little bit thinner toward the front, just so I could one, make it stretch, and two, I know I'll be coming in and planting this whole section pretty intensively, and I'll be messing the whole thing up because I'll probably be using my auger. So I didn't want to necessarily use a ton of mulch at this point. It's also nice just to get out here for a, an hour or two. Every day, if it's nice enough, I like to get out and just chip away at little projects. Um, because that's just one less thing I have to do in the spring, which is awesome. Um, so anyway, the whole point today was just to let you know that you can go out, if you're seeing sprouts from your bulbs at this point, this early, you can go out and protect them a little bit with mulch or you can use straw, uh, dried leaves, 
Um, you can use the evergreen boughs. There's a numerous different things you can use as mulch just to protect your bulbs a little bit, but it's not 100% necessary. So if you see them and you don't have a chance to get out and do that because you're busy and, and whatever the reasons may be, I wouldn't worry too much about it because your buds are uh, still under the ground most likely if you start seeing those buds come up that's when you need to get out um, and mulch them if it's still really early um, but you know here in the next I don't know month month and a half I'll be wanting to see those buds coming up out of the ground so anyway hope this video was helpful to you guys and we will see you in the next one bye